Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome down to another live from me, this time in the interview mode. Uh, many of us are using the lockdowns to be highly creative, finish albums, start new albums. And one such uh, Bedford artist, I've got the lockdown hair going on here, uh, one such Bedford artist, Mr. Michael Green, uh, has released his first new album of new material for two years this week. And uh, he's going to be coming on here in a minute, hopefully, and we're going to be doing a little interview about this album. It's Mr. Michael Green. Hello, hello. How are you? Well, before we go any further, before we start, how's our echo situation? Have we got it? No, I can't hear anything. Oh, uh, yeah, we're all good. Michael Green, great to see you um, back again on the Effort Interviews. How have you been doing? Yeah, I've been good. Yeah, I've been... Uh... As you can see, I've been uh, keeping productive, which is, keeping creative. Which is what I was just saying at the start of this video. So Michael has got a brand new album out this week. Three, two, one. Michael, let's hear what it's all about. So yeah, um, basically with this lockdown, in my head I was like, I needed something for me to be productive with my songwriting. I thought, well, with me, I tend to write mostly when I've got something to work towards, like a project or something like that. Yeah. So I thought to myself, thought to myself actually like um yeah actually let's let's just write some songs for projects like um maybe like a live just do some videos for my youtube and things so what i did was um over a period of like two weeks just like wrote a song a day and then like sort of honed it down and then i did like a sort of like narrowed it down to seven songs and then like did the videos. well yeah i know and i've been checking some of them out and you've got so th th this is a great thing about creative you're writing about subjects that are very much uh, non-lockdown subjects and talking about, you know, people interacting and stuff. Um, what was the inspiration for all the songs? Talk us through, is it seven songs or eight songs? How many songs is it? Seven, seven songs. Seven, yeah, seven songs. So talk us through the, each song. Let's have a little chat about each song on this new record. First of all, what's the record called? It's So it's called Hold Tight Acoustic Live Album. Right, Hold Tight Acoustic Live Album. And um, take us through each track. So the first song is called Incredible Night. Um, so that's basically just a nice little sort of upbeat sort of pop song. Um, the day I was writing it, it was literally I was just on my guitar and um, playing around with like chord progressions. And then like the, the melody of like um, the sort of pre-hook bit came in like, um, uh, you, you got my jaw dropping to the floor um, and because you, you look like a superstar. So it's, it's, it's about um, you're on a night out with someone he, uh, with, a, with a lady and um and it's just like you're just having the best time ever and they make you feel like made yeah you know? no and you just, i like, get you, and, you just, they have the time. and and is this uh the, the obvious question is this written from experience or you, obviously you've had many incredible nights over your life but yeah yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. well this this one is inspired by um previous situations but it's like it's more definitely in the zone of just like just right probably just thinking of, i just wanted like a write like an upbeat sort so, of I, mean, I mean that's the great thing about songwriting you can project yourself into a situation so yes ladies and gentlemen michael green has had incredible nights out and many more to come um but i think what you've done you've projected yourself into previous incredible nights and envisaged this incredible night with an incredible person a lady and and come up with this song is that kind of where you were with it yeah yeah definitely i mean like some of my songs I write from like previous experience. Some of them I just write to be in that zone and where I'm like, as an actor, you try to put yourself into a role and into a situation. Yeah, and that's what you So you like so have elements of that and you put them together. So that's what you did with track one. And what about track two? Let's talk us through that one. What's that one called? This one's called I Never Thought I Could Love Again. And it's it's the premise of like, for anybody who who, who may have gone through heartbreak or gone through situations, where you think, you know, do they, do they feel like it's ever going to happen for them again? And then somebody comes into their life and it's like, oh, wow, this is, they've just completely changed everything. Wow. So, and then, and so when you were, when you see, is this a predominantly, because you play guitar, and, did you write these songs on the guitar or have you? Have you... A bit of both. So this one, this one, I was literally listening to like to some songs. This was an inspiration. And then like this chord progression came out from the song. I was like, okay, I like this. So I had my piano, my keyboard there, and my guitar. So the first thing I went to was actually the, the keyboard. So this song that came out of the course of the, and then the hook came into my head. And that was how you... Actually, no, I like, I you this. like, what happened was, I listened to the song, and then, like, the, the hook came to my head while I listened to, this, to another song. 
Yeah. And then I thought, oh, and then I basically sang that hook into my phone, and I thought, okay, this is really nice. And then I went to my p- keyboard, and then came out with the chords. And I thought, because it, I thought yeah, it works here. And then I thought, okay, yeah, I'll pick up the guitar and see if it works on the guitar as well. And then I end up writing the rest of the song on guitar. So it was like a, a, a dual thing between guitar and keyboards. So that's track number two. What? Yeah. Um, what about track number three? Let's uh, keep uh, keep the track by track. So, so this is a, this is um, a song called "Here with Me." Um, this was a an idea of a song that was previously written before the sessions started for for this album. So that was an idea which I had like this on my phone, like um, the chorus. I thought that's really nice, really nice. And then I just thought, okay, yeah, let's let's go back to that and let's rework that. And that's just like that's just a song about like like a, a relationship where like say like. You made a mistake, and and it's basically you, you're longing and for that person to be back into your life in the sense of like, what can you do to get them back into your life? Yeah, I get you, I get you. And I feel like it's a, it's a, um, it's one of the most vocally expressive songs on on the album. Like, it's one that's very emotive. Like, you just really sort of like vocally. Process. We're on the third track, and we'll get to track four in a minute. Do, have you fit? I know there's videos all up on YouTube. Have you recorded this in a uh, uh, an audio medium and a video medium. What about what mediums is going out on? I know there's seven YouTube videos up or for this. Are they? Is it been recorded as well? So it's, no, it's exclusively just a live album on my YouTube channel where it could be exclusively heard on there. That that was the plan basically. I wanted it all to be like sort of like a live album, live videos, and then like people just actually just watch watch performances and this. Well, which is great because they can really hear you doing what you do. And, you know, no trickery, just Michael Green, live and raw. And, um, yeah, and that's fantastic. So we're talking about, if you just joined us, we're talking about Michael Green's uh, brand new album that's out this week. It's a live YouTube album. Um, where, just, we're going to say this a few times. Where can people find it, Mike? So you can listen to the album on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash Michael Green TV. And if you go, go, to, go to my Facebook page, which is Michael Green Songwriter, then all the details are on there as well. That's so fantastic stuff. So we're, we're going track by track. So track number four, talk us through that one. So <laughs> this is this is like definitely had you in mind when I wrote oh, this. Wow. This is one. This is song of my. No, you're you're sort of, you know when we're in the studio we write like sort of, sort of funky sort of like sort of like sort of numbers. Um, so I was playing around yeah. on the guitar and playing around with some the chords and like some sound. I thought oh, I, like, I like this sort of progression that I had here, and yeah. like. It, it's a sort of like funky. It's a song called um, "What's Your Name," What's and your name? Um, yeah. So the, the premise is basically you literally you walk in. It's, it's telling the story. You're walking through a street, and then you see somebody who like a, a really attractive lady, and then catches your eye, and you think, okay, you're in that moment. Okay, what do I say? Um, what? How do I go about this? And it's literally just telling that story about in being within that microcosm of that of that moment. Yeah. And it's it's just like a, it's a nice little like a funky sort of like vibe. Of that, really. The vibe of that. Okay, so that's, I'm looking forward to... A, I've, I've had a brief listen to, to some of it last night. Well, it dropped at midnight last night, didn't it? Is that roughly? Yeah, yeah, yeah it did, yeah. Um, so what about track number five? Talk us through that one. This is the track by track. Track number five. Track number five is a title track of um, uh, the, the album. It's what... I mean, like, the next two songs on this album is where I've dug a, a, um, really, like, a lot deeper. And um, it's about basically being there somebody who is um going through a tough situation yeah and it's, 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 it's so it's, it's songs called hold tight and the chorus is a hold tight don't let go i've got you don't you know so it's it's that feeling of like um you may be falling but i've got your hand to lift you up yeah it's, it's, so it's, i think that's something at the at this crazy time we're living in it's, it's a bit of a universal theme that a lot of people can relate to you know people need friends they need you know, people to interact with, if not in person. So, you know, having a friend like Mike and so writing a song like that is a good thing. You know, so you, it's uh, it's sort of basically saying about people being there for people, which is a good concept. Yeah, I mean, definitely, because in this time, in this time, like we're really like, I wanted to to come up with some songs where like you you are that's whether you're in isolation, whether you're feeling down, whether you're feeling in a bad place or a situation. Is like I wanted to write something that's like sort of like encompassing of what's happening at the moment. Yeah. Like, you know, and this sort of a little bit deeper of it. Oh, that, that's fantastic. So, um, so track number uh, six we're on now. What was track number six? 
So this is along the same sort of lines. So this is a song of mine called Lay Your Head. Yeah. Uh, and this was like the last song I wrote of the whole of the sessions. Um, and this is basically just saying like, if you just, you know, I know you're going through like a, a tough time at the moment, just lay your head, just lay your head on my shoulder. You know, just be, like, be, be at peace, try to be at peace with yourself in this situation. And uh, and so that's that's track number six and track number seven, the final track on the live sessions album. So yeah, like um, this this was literally on my guitar and like I came up this sort of chord progression. It was sort of had a sort of like sort of like Spanish like beat sort of like vibe sort of feel yeah. to it. And it's a song, uh, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, wow. Just, yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's almost the flip of the other two songs where you're saying that 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 that, that person's be there for you. Like they they have your back in the darkest hour, and they 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 they, they shelter you from the stormy showers and that sort of type of thing. So they, they that Wonder the Woman. Wonder Woman, which is an, which is an incredible thing. Lots of things come to mind. And Michael, when you were recording this album, you know these times we're all having to sort of a uh, uh, time manage our day and and you know and get things happening. When was the best time for you? Was there any particular time that you were doing these videos, or was it a nighttime thing, or? So, so it's, it's, um, basically the plan was always um, write the songs, narrow the songs down, and then like properly learn the songs, and then literally do do the session in one day. So I did the session last, I think last Tuesday, I've done. So I did I basically just recorded all the videos in one in one se session, and then like just got the videos and get them all all sorted, like all edited. And then getting all the graphics done, all the artwork and everything like that, and then like get it up onto my oh, YouTube. Absolutely fa already. fantastic! And and in the in sort of the twenty four hours, pretty much nearly since it's been out, have you had some good responses? Have you shared it round? I know you've done a bit of. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, yeah. Because at the end of the day, this is the first time I've ever done a project where nobody's ever heard any of the songs before it got released. I know this. I know even uh, Indy Ford's given this a good love. Hi, Indy Ford's a fantastic artist. I do. We both we both I we do. both love Indy. Um, we're going to hopefully do an interview with Indy at some point. But anyway, Mike, um, with, so this is the first time, because normally when Michael Green makes a record, I've proudly been involved with a few of them now, you'll play the songs at nights. You'll, there'll be a, a, a period of building up me or whoever your collaborator is, like learning the songs. But with this one, you've, you've literally, it's an isolation album, isn't it? You've had to write and learn the songs yourself and perform the songs yourself. Yeah, I mean, because it, it really only came to mind like the other day. I was like, you know what? Nobody's actually heard any. Because sometimes what I'll do is like I'll I'll record something on my phone, like just get, uh, guitar and vocal, and send it to some friends and like yourself and some other people, and get feedback and see say what uh, what do you like? Um, do you like? What do you think of this? Do you think it's any good or not? This is the first time where like all songs, like nobody, not one person's heard any of it, and it's like at the end of the day, I can't they're any good or not i don't know if people got to how people any of the songs are going to stand out well i can go by my gut instinct and then just see how people react to them well, which, it'll be interesting to see which is which... gone no, yeah. Yeah. um yeah sorry wasn't sure if it's if it paused there um yeah it'd be interesting to see what people think and it's been i suppose it's been a good exercise for you because you really have to like self-discipline yourself to go right michael uh, what's the vibe? You know, like you've you've had no one to bounce off. You've had to literally write songs and bounce off yourself. Yeah, it's been it's been like I mean I don't know if people seeing been seeing in my posts on social media, but I've been saying it's like one of my most creative and productive times that I've had. You know, to have that time to actually properly focus and like also when you set yourself a goal, especially with songwriting. Like I remember like a, a few years back. Um, we did something. I did something similar with like Johnny Mudd, Fergus. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, we, yeah. we we had to write a song a day, and we did it for fourteen days. And like, so I, I sort of challenged myself. I said, you know what, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to basically, I'm going to push myself to write a song a day, and then get to fourteen songs, and then narrow those fourteen songs to seven songs, and then like, and then we're just going to work with those. Because um, you know, just to to say, in in no way are we. Uh celebrating too much this whole terrible time but there are you know in a good old english way or any way there's major positives to come out of folk being focused like this you know i'm finding this myself as you've probably seen by some of my live feeds yeah. or projects 
you know, never before have I had this much time to just focus on being creative and, you know, like, like we've talked about on the last interview and I've talked about with many people, first of all, everyone's health is the most important thing. We know that goes without saying the world over, wherever you are watching this, whoever you are. Then after that's the economic thing. But those two things aside, having the freedom um, uh, to be able to be creative like this is, a, is such a beautiful thing. You know, it's such a celebratory thing. Definitely. I mean, at the end of the day, like, nobody's saying how people should deal with this situation. Like, so everybody's going to deal with it in their own, though, and that's in their own way, and that's okay. And for me, I mean, what this what this, this, this has helped me through this situation, being, like, having this project, because this has helped me, like, get through this whole sort of, like, lockdown sort of, like, situation. So having the... The privilege and the creativity of being able to do that to occupy me is like it's, it's definitely helped me focus yes yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful privileged thing dave farrah just joined us i think you're you're involved in the london underground so respect respect to that because you're probably out there working um i don't know if you are still dave but um legendary bedford drummer um but mike uh so with these tracks that are on this album just before we, we, we wrap this up are they are you going to record is it going to st strictly stay a live album and then obviously you might jam the songs out and play them but are you gonna, do you have any plans to take any of these songs and embellish them in the, in the studio at all or yeah I mean definitely it's like um, depending on the reaction to the songs it's definitely like um, going forward hopefully they maybe go, go into the studio and get some recordings of them for the moment obviously like I can only do what I've got at the moment so I'm just going to focus on depending on we because like i said we don't know how long this whole thing's going to go on for so i'm just going to focus on like just going to be doing some lives um so have you got, have you got any lives and, uh, coming up you... that we can talk about or just um any any lives yeah uh, I've, got, I've got one this week coming up and then hopefully um just so that oh, that will if people look at my socials that uh that will be um publicized and then i've got one in the in the line lined up with another like a facebook page that we're hopefully planning on doing um for next week so that would that'll be all that on brilliant my brilliant so, well mike thank you so much for for joining us and is there anything else you want to say about this record or anything you want to say just in conclusion yeah i mean like feel free if anyone wants to go and uh, listen to it then uh, feel like any feedback any comments you want to put on it'd be great to get like i said because i don't really know how people are react it'd be, it'd be great to get people's reactions and if there's any songs that are standing out that they like It'd be great to know that because it'll just help me going forward because it'll help me going forward with potentially songs that I may record into the studio and then also songs which I'll be playing live as well. So definitely the feedback will be, be great. Well, Michael, thank you so much for taking the time out to do this interview. Um, it's been a pleasure to talk to you as always. Uh, keep checking out Michael Green's music from his most recent stuff to his uh, classic stuff. He really is a Bedford treasure. And Michael, please keep doing what you're doing because you're inspiring all of us, music, along with all the other musicians that is in our network you know doing things like this will just it has a knock-on effect to, to everyone go on let me say one more thing one another reason why i've done this this album is i wanted to show show people that no like there's no real excuses when it comes to creativity in the sense that if you feel like you don't have the, the right um sort of like at home you don't have like a studio lost you coming back hello michael we lost him. We lost him on the crucial moment. Is he going to come back? Is he going to come back? We're still watching. We've lost Michael on a crucial moment. Um, well, I think we've... Pause. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's gone. But thank you so much for watching the live. We'll be back with some more interviews soon. That was Michael Green. And I think he was going to say that he just uh, wanted to um, say that anything could be achieved in the lockdown and what he's done is the, the proof. So t thank you for watching. I'm Matt Roberts.